Hi, this is Sherelle J and you guys are watching my first tutorial ever. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make this abstract wave effect in After Effects. First, let me say how easy this is. Um, this can be done with no plugins, a few easy steps, and it's definitely made for someone who's a beginner in After Effects. So um, to begin, I just started a new composition, uh, 1920 by 1080 the frame rate of 29 frames per second, uh, black background, hit OK here. And now um, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new solid. Uh, it's going to be a black solid with the same dimensions, 1920 by 1080, black background, or whatever you like for your project. And hit OK here. And now I'm going to go to Effects and Presets. Um, if you don't know where your effects and presets are, if you don't have that tab, just go under Window, Effects, Presets. And I'm going to type in Gradient Ramp. And I'm going to use the Gradient Ramp, the simple one to begin with, instead of the four color gradient. But to start, uh, we are going to bring our Gradient Ramp over into our composition. We'll place it on our solid here. And I'm going to change the color. In the example, I did a, a pink color. But for this one here, I'm going to go over into the end color and I'm going to choose maybe like um, a sunset orange, something like a burnt orange. You can see that's the pink I used previously. And we're going to hit OK here. And if I want to actually change the position of the black or the orange, you can see I can move the dimensions here um, using the Y or X dimensions here. Now I'm going to go back over to my effects and presets and I'm going to type in CC Scatterize. And I'm going to grab that effect and I'm going to place it onto my composition. And um, when you're ready, you're going to hit your uh, keyframe there and then we're going to twist. We're going to turn, rotate this here until we get this twisted effect. See how easy that was? You're pretty much done, but you know we'll keep going. But you can see that the uh, middle section here is rotated and twisted from the left side because I had that left twist. So and then I go to the end of uh, of my composition here, and then I just hit another keyframe and. Don't mess with the scatter eyes. If you mess with the scatter eyes, as you can see, what happens is it kind of disperses the effect into smaller pixels. And that's great if you want to do another project. For the, but for this particular project that we're doing here, um, we just want to keep it a solid and working with the left and the right twist. So you can see here, um, as I let it render, it has this twisted, slow effect, really abstract soft wave look but I'm going to actually create a new solid and I'll tell you why we actually saw the four color gradient so why don't we continue with that why don't we go back to that the four color gradient if I can find it here under effects and presets under generate and we're going to put it on our new solid I just created and I'm going to go with the sunset theme. So what I'm going to do is maybe do a pale yellow. And uh, let me see, do like a red and um, maybe a soft orange. Not too similar to the orange I did previously. And uh, another orange. And then again, go under effects and presets. We're going to do CC scatter eyes again under simulation and put it back on our new solid and you know what last time I did the left twist we're gonna want this one to go in a different direction maybe uh, start at a negative integer so I'm going to rotate it back set a keyframe and then I'm going to go to the end of the time of my composition and uh, let me twist this around a little bit so I can have maybe like uh, it rotate twice and it can kind of go into contrast, uh, it, it's kind of opposite of the previous solid. 
um, I'm going to change the mood to an overlay so that you have a really nice sunsetty color effect here. Start at the beginning of my composition and I'm going to let it render. So let me let it render and I'll let you take a look at what we did. So it's all rendered out and here's the final look. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Oh, I also forgot to add the CC glow, uh, the stylized glow. If you guys go back and add a glow to the look, it gives it that pop that you might have noticed in the um, beginning file that I showed you. Sorry about that. But um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Like I said, this is my very first tutorial, so be gentle. <laughs> and depending on how well this goes, hopefully I can do some more. But um, this is Abstract Waves. No plugins, no third party anything, all in After Effects. So thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thanks.